Over the years of building my business, I have realized that if you can crack the code on building an online community like an Instagram page, Facebook page, or Facebook group where you can bring your prospects and leads into and cultivate that community feel that you can exorbitantly increase your sales and revenue in your business. So in this episode, I wanna pull back the curtains and I wanna share with you exactly how to build an online community of raving fans that are not already customers of yours or business partners of yours so that you can make a ton of sales and increase your profits. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome to episode 180. My name is Tanya Eliza and I help entrepreneurs and network marketers create success fast while most importantly designing a lifestyle that you love. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I put out a brand new training episode and free resource for you and your business each and every week. Oh yeah, and make sure to check the show notes above or below this video where you're watching it because I also include some really juicy additional resources and tools for you and your business. How would an extra 30% in revenue, profits, more business sound to you? Well, when I first learned how to do this and the power of building online communities, my sales, my revenue, my profits increased by about 30%. That's a lot. Picture this, you don't have an online community, but maybe you're posting things on social media and you're putting in the efforts of doing some online or social media marketing. Your prospects are seeing your posts, they're maybe liking, they're engaging, maybe you're doing videos, maybe you're doing Facebook Lives, but you don't have an online community to put these people into. So where do these people go and how the heck are you even able or how are you even going to build a deeper relationship with these people? The answer is, you're not. Now picture this, you do have an online community and you have somewhere that you can invite the people that are engaging with your stuff to, right? So you're posting on social media and you're doing maybe videos or Facebook Lives and you have a call to action for people to come and learn more and join you and benefit from being a part of your online community. For example, something like a Facebook group. Now inside that Facebook group, you're posting good content, value, and you're making recommendations and suggestions for them to buy your products or services or join your business. This is how you make a ton of extra sales and you don't lose any opportunities with what it is that you're doing on social media and serving your people best inside of a community that delivers them massive value and helps you to make a ton of sales. So I want you to also think of your online community when you build it as an additional prospect list that is ever growing and never ending for your business. But the question I get asked all the time is, Tanya, how do you become that go-to spot with your online community that people actually want to be a part of? And how do you manage the online community so that you're giving value, people are enjoying the environment, and you're making sales through your recommendations and suggestions? What do you post? What do you talk about? So we're gonna talk about it in this episode. Now in every episode of Tanya Eliza TV, if you tune in, you know that I like to equip you with a free resource that goes with the episode and topic that we're talking about. So today, since we're talking about building online communities to help you grow your business, I've put together a really cool guide that I think you're absolutely going to love and it also includes a checklist on how to build a profitable Facebook group and community. It'll give you a lot of my tips and strategies in there. And if you'd like to pick up this free guide and checklist, all you need to do is head over to the blog at tanyaeliza.com forward slash 180. I will leave a link for you above or below this video in the description area that will take you to my blog. And then when you're on my blog post, you'll see the big yellow button right below this video, kind of the same color as my shirt, and you can click that button and request for free my Facebook group community checklist and guide. You're gonna totally love it. Even if you already have a Facebook group community, you'll probably get some really good ideas 
to make it even better in that guide. So here's what you wanna do to make the community amazing and to know that you're delivering the right content to your people to educate them, entertain them, provide them with value, enough so that they feel comfortable with you spending money. So what you wanna do is number one, take out a pen and paper right now, unless you're driving of course, and write down who your best customer is for your product, service, or business. The next thing that you wanna do is you wanna write down 10 things that you know are important to this type of person. 10 things that you think are important to this type of person. So write that down right now. Now, every time I train this topic, I still have some people that say, well, Tanya, I don't really know what's important to them. So I'm gonna give you an example. And I'm gonna give you a little cheat, okay? So every time I train on this, people love me for it. So here's what you can do. If you're just not too sure who the best person is for your product or what's important to them, Take a look at the industry that your product or service is in. And let's say, for example, you have something that is related to the health and wellness industry. So what I would do is I'd go to Google and I would type in health magazine or fitness magazine or nutrition magazine. And you can do this with any business type, of course. And then after you've done that, you can click search. And then you want to filter out and go to the top and say to Google, I want to see all the images, okay? Not like the links, but the images. And so what that's going to do is it's going to give you a bunch of images of the covers of the magazines that are in that niche, in that industry that you indicated. Now, if you think about it, these magazines, okay, have hired editors and copywriters Sometimes they pay them $10,000 or more to write some of the most captivating headlines and topics on the front cover of those magazines so that people are captivated enough to want to buy the magazine. So that can give you an, an amazing amount. For years and years and years, you should never run out of topics that are important to your specific customer or target audience. So you can use that little cheat boss tip to help you if you're having trouble trying to figure out what is important to my perfect customer for my products that they serve in what industry. You're welcome. The next thing that I want you to do is get really familiar with the benefits of what your product or service does for people. Not what it is, but what it does. I talk about this all the time. So write down on that same notebook that you've got your notes going on, write down 10 benefits that your product or service provides to your best customer that's related to helping them and, and, and in line with what it is that's important to them, okay? So 10 benefits that your product or service does for people, your best customer, and relate it to what you know is very important to them. Do that right now. Okay, did you do the activity? I hope you did. So now you have a bunch of really good ideas on what you can provide as value inside of your uh, community, your online community. In this case, we'll talk about like a Facebook group community, but it can be in any community that you're building. You've got now ideas for days, years, weeks of content that will serve your audience well, and you can make recommendations and suggestions into your products or services. Now, in my guide that I have that I'm giving you with this episode, my guide to building a profitable Facebook group community, you're gonna see that we do specific theme days and we have fun with it, and we also like to give our members prizes and swag to really stand out and be a different community and really get them engaging with our community because that's the ultimate goal. So we have uh, Tip Tuesdays, Tool Tuesdays, Wealth Wednesdays. So we kind of play 
with the, you know, with the day of the week and kind of make it fun. And so when we're delivering that content and that value inside of our group community, we have theme days to make it fun. And then we encourage our members to invite their friends into the group. And when they do invite them, we give away prizes and we do drawings like coffee mugs and shirts and swag and things like that to really, really, really make it fun and to get engagement and also go viral through our members inside of our group. So when you go through that guide that I give you, you're gonna get some really good ideas on how we do that as well. Now just think about this way. If you have a uh, group community, an online community that you're cultivating, when your company releases new products or new pricing or promos or specials, anything like that, you know, your company's probably doing that from time to time, you now have a place where you've built and invested a lot of goodwill and trust and equity into your people that when you go to make a recommendation or suggestion or pitch a promo that you're doing or, you know, uh, run for an incentive prize or something, you now have a bunch of eyeballs that are eager to hear what you have to say and buy your stuff. So without that online community, you would not have that opportunity to go right into a group of hundreds, thousands, sometimes tens of thousands of people and make that product or promotion pitch that could really amplify your volume and sales. So I just wanna paint that vision on the possibility for you and your business. Now I'm gonna give you another boss tip in this episode. What I want you to do is join a couple of other Facebook group communities or Instagram communities or wherever you, you your people are hanging out or wherever you like to hang out and look at what the group community owners are doing. Maybe you can get some really good tips and ideas for your group community. I know that that's how we've gotten a lot of tips for our group community. And if you wanna check out our group community, we'll leave a link in the show notes for you. I do have a group called the B Lab, which stands for Build Like a Boss, and it's the success spot for home business entrepreneurs. We have tens of thousands of members in there. We have a lot of fun, and you can probably get some really powerful and good ideas for your group community from my group community. So you can also request access and we'll leave a link for you in the show notes below this video in the description area. And remember, we've got that Facebook group community checklist and guide ready for you with all of the additional tips and strategy on how to really do this right. It is ready for you on the blog at tanyaeliza.com forward slash 180. So make sure to go and pick that up. It is free right now and you can request access for it immediately. Question of the week. Do you have a value-based community that you are putting your people into and cultivating that community feel? If you do, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. Let me know who's in that group and how you serve them and what kind of information you provide to them that helps them. I'd love to hear what it is that you're doing. So did you get some value out of today's episode? I truly hope that you did. If you did, and you know anybody else that would find value in this information as well, make sure to smash the share button, get it out to your people, get it out to your team, give it a thumbs up, a like, and make sure to check the resources section for all of the show notes and more resources and boss tools and tips that I share so that you can amplify the revenue and your impact in the business. Thank you for joining me and I will see you on the next episode of Tanya Eliza TV.